Hey guys, it's a beautiful um, morning, nice and cool before the flies come out. And uh, I was gonna go out and uh, do some lumber out in the woods on a big, uh, well, nice size ash that fell. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a, a closer look at my jig that I made for the the chainsaw. So here it is. It's just a just a piece of uh, I think it's three quarter inch flat stock, and then I bolted this right to the bar. Okay, a couple uh, screws here, nylon nuts on the back, and then it's uh, it's shaped so that the the chain can run through here, and on the bottom part I have. Basically, uh, this is, I think it's a two inch, two and a, two and a half inch square aluminum, uh, which I cut, and inside gives me exactly two inches. And I have it, if you can see, it's lined up with the chain, so it takes out, it's about the width of the chain. And then... I just uh, brazed onto this piece, uh, a piece of flat stock, okay, and then I got a bolt going through that uh, piece of aluminum so that as I'm cutting, and I just got this, these are basically pieces of um, um, flooring, you can see the grooves on the back here, and all I do is I run chainsaw through the grooves so this piece just slides down the groove and that's how I maintain you can see as I'm cutting I maintain my uh, my straight edge so that's it <laughs> all right folks so I had this uh, nice size ash tree here that fell fell down in a hurricane and you can see it uh, it broke split um, this piece so these this is a nice log here it's got to be I don't know 12 14 inches so I'm thinking I've been wanting to make a, a bench out of ash and uh, this is going to be my bench and then I have this other piece here which is still a nice size and this one here and uh, I brought my little truck, but I have an issue. <laughs> I have issue. There's a brook to cross. And my bridge is more narrow than my hand truck. So yeah, so. But I have a few ideas how I'm gonna solve that. So anyway, so I gotta take this log across this little trail here I made. Way down here. I was originally going to saw this up in the woods, but uh, my jig I made for my electric chainsaw doesn't fit on the battery chainsaw just because of uh, the spot where I landed up. So I got to get it across this brook on this bridge, which is more narrow than my truck. There, all the way down to my cottage, which is somewhere way in the woods over there. I'll show you where that is. This is a chair I made last year. Uh, call it my two hour chair. So I made it up in two hours. Super comfortable. Uh, it's basically uh, a spot here. Slot my uh, vertebral, col vertebral column fits right in between there. I got my neck rest here shaped around it up and uh, tailbone fits inside this empty area here so uh, this is shaped for your knees so it sits uh, it's very comfortable if you want to make something similar someday uh, this is a 
I call it 1.0 because I do want to make an upgrade to this chair. At some point I'll make a video showing that. Anyway, so my cottage is through this trail over this bridge, which I made with all, this is all made with the lumber uh, that I made with my sawmill, all from fallen trees. So it's this, um, it's a nice little, I call it my uh, resting spot. I just uh, lean my elbows over this and look good at my view. My little island I have here, beautiful little spot in the woods. Anyways, we got another little brook here, flowing through here. Actually, two brooks, one there, one there. Anyways, so I got to get across this bridge. With those logs. Also made from lumber from Fulton Trees with my electric chainsaws. Over to my cottage, which... You will see. It's a beautiful little trail, by the way. Love coming down here. To my cottage, which is up here. Now you can see it. So it's about uh, 400 feet, I would say. So I'll video again with the logs at the cottage. I won't put you through the pain of watching me lug those. Bye for now. now. I got to pass the first bridge. Now I'm on the second bridge. I noticed that even though the wheels are wider, the uh, the little skate part that's underneath here is the width of the bridge. So I'm dragging them across the bridge. A lot of work. But you know what? I'll be even prouder when I get this bench done. When I tell the story how silly I was to go and lug a piece of wood in the woods, wood out of the woods, and make a bench out of it. Right now. Oh, so here we go. Finally got the first log over to my stump here. Um, I think I can show you guys a little bit what I've done with this stump. Uh, it's been damaged from splitting wood, but you can see a little bit here on this side. So I got this groove here. I squared up the surface here. And you can see there's a little uh, offset here in the wood. And this is all for my, uh, I call it version 2.0. So usually uh, when I do inventions, I, uh, I always start with a version 1.0. Uh, which is usually a rough, you know, test of uh, proof of concept, which was this thing. And then I'll go into an upgrade, which is this thing here behind. You can see the, the slides here. So I'll set it up in a bit. And what I do is the, uh, the upgrade is usually done to prove some of the extra concepts and then I usually make a third and final version which uh, for this system will be all in aluminum and uh, I may even uh, add a few other bells and whistles on it all right so I'm back at that fallen tree so you're probably wondering you've seen me saw up that piece of wood which what what took for looked like it took forever uh, <laughs> I noticed at the end that when I had taken off my bar this morning, the uh, the hole for the oil was plugged. So I ended up sawing all that with no oil. So that's probably why it was a little bit slower than normal. Um, anyway, so you're probably wondering what kind of legs I'm going to put on my bench. Well, as I was walking up to get another piece to, to make some legs, I noticed that I had this really neat feature here. So I have this really nice crotch wood and this is what I will use to make the legs for my bench and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this like so and then up here somewhere 
and then I'll saw it down in half before I cut it. So I'll saw it down in half here and then I'll make uh, my two legs out of this by sawing it down the middle. So uh, hopefully it works, uh, turns out alright.